Melbourne Cup 1965. Light fingers. 88. Empire Rose. 1974. Think big. Let's go. What is it? And it's making a break from County Boys. Let the others ride the different trainers. Why can't I? Because you're not ready. I'm ready, Dad. Good show come last, Dad. Yeah, I know, it's Steve. Good show come last, Dad. Thanks, Dave. Don't say it, Stevie. You've got a fine career in the country. I don't want a fine career in the bloody country. I want to ride Group 1s. I want to be the best. You're out of your mind. Get married, go travelling and have kids. I don't see you telling your husbands to give up. The girl's never going to win the Melbourne Cup, mate. The only thing that matters is the odds you give yourself. I didn't want to see you settle down and happy. It's okay, Dad. I found the one. How many legs has he got? Can I do this? I know the host can. He's got to be a champion. You found it, little girl. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see history in the making when these two powerhouses take the stage. What are you talking about? But did you know about this? Show what's going on. This is not what I signed up for. The Roses! <laughs> well, Ashley. Mother. It was the only way to get you two in the same place. Your old record label wants a Roses reunion. We all do. No. no. This is what they're willing to pay. But if we do this again, it's got to be different. Say that again. What exactly do they want for this offer? A Christmas EP. They want to release the songs on Christmas Eve. Looking forward to digging into this with the both of you. I'm Smith. I think I'm beginning to get in the Christmas spirit. I want to spend Christmas with Grandma. I just want us to be a family, that's all. <laughs> There's a lot of history there. She broke my heart. We had such a good thing going, and she left for some harebrained idea that... Love. Would you like to go out tonight? When my mom digs her heels in... I was the one who kept you safe. It was you and me. You were suffocating me! Neither of you can look past your own noses to see what you have. Your music. This was never going to work. Why couldn't you just get along? She's just so stubborn. Oh, come on, Bonnie. You're two peas in a pod. I'm sorry if I held you back. I just needed to fail on my own to know how much I needed you. How much we needed each other. Kendall was raised behind the bright lights of the big stage. Freak want to give a big shout out to our favorite Kendall. Now, 20 years later, when the family business is about to go under. What? Closing down? You failed to mention that you were about to lose the club. The music industry is dead. If they're going to save the opera house. I need a Christmas miracle. They're turning to some old friends. What if? and Vogue got back together to do a Christmas show to save the Opera House. For the biggest gift of all. Your fans, they want this concert. And deep down, I think you want it too. What? All right, I guess we're doing a show. <laughs> Mar Vista Entertainment presents Janelle Williams. If anything can bring back that magic that I felt as a kid, it's you guys. The ladies of En Vogue. <laughs> Terry Ellis. <laughs> Cindy Heron Braggs. Rona Bennett and David Allen Greer. Gosh, look at us. Don't oh, cry. You're going to make me cry. I'll start I'm laughing. not. The lineup is around the block. And the best show I ever saw, it was En Vogue at Christmas. And 
and Vogue Christmas. The name's Doctor. The Doctor. The security of this entire planet is at stake. Can we rely upon you? I'm not where I wanted to be, but I can work with this. Whoa. From Joe Cole. What? what? I don't suppose you've seen anything weird around here. Do you believe this is a human? What's the plan? You trust me, don't you? Have I got one answer that? Where are we? Paris, 1943? Oh, no. Something's coming for me. I can feel it. Let it come. Because we're your mates. Family. Get away from them! You know things will get into the TARDIS. You never die. What have you brought here, Doctor? I don't know. You know that I've always loved you. Merry Christmas. Are you crying? What? No, you are. You can't spend the entire month of December in front of the TV. I have years of experience that say I can't. Let me get my purse. We're both single. We live in an apartment we can barely afford. My boss doesn't know my name or what I do. And you? What about me? Pretty sure you've dated every jerk in the city. True. I just wish we could have a perfect Christmas, you know? like. Like in a Christmas movie. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas. Ah! 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 What's going on? Where are we? Did you go to bed with your hair and makeup done? Did you go to bed with your hair and makeup done? This place is amazing. It's almost like we're, we're in a, a Christmas, Christmas movie. movie. Holiday falls. Oh, it's like a Christmas dream or a Christmas nightmare. Now, how do we get home? I guess I need to find my storyline. Did you hear? Hear what? Our Christmas festival is in trouble. What about my bow? Your bow? My handsome prince, whose romantic potential I've long overlooked, even as it stared me right in the face. Ooh. My name is Dustin. I'm here to help. Every great party needs a good theme. So I was thinking something along the lines of Winter, Winter Wonderland. Oh, wait. Did you steal my binder? No, I did not. Did you steal mine? <laughs> Hi. Oh, oh, oh. Nice of you to drop in. No. Nope. Maybe you want to drop by the bakery tomorrow? OK, fine. Then it's a date. It's not a date. Paul, it's not a date. <laughs> Paul said you came to help us decorate cookies. I would love to help you. It was actually the most fun I've had in a while. I just, this place is so different from where I'm from. You have the perfect life here in Holiday Falls. Sometimes I wonder if this is the life I chose or just the one I escaped to. I wished for a perfect Christmas, but my perfect Christmas needs to be back home. I'm tired of running, but what do we do? We're gonna take a risk and we're gonna save Christmas. Has any city boy snapped you up yet? No, nope, not yet. Ryan Mason. Julia Crawley. It's been a long time. It has. I saw you blushing yesterday. It's a nice smile. I think I sense a crush. Well, hello, my favorite innkeepers. Did Mom tell you about all the great centennial Christmas celebration activities? <laughs> Dessert bake-off. Who's ready for Christmas trivia? The snowball toss. It's officially on. It's on. I assume your father will be entering? Oh, the whole lot of us. As long as the Crawleys don't win, I'm fine with that. Ah! A lot of lights. It's the Masons. They bit up decorations. I see the Mason Crawley feud has not dissipated. Edgestone Resorts wants to buy our inn? It's the same letter my dad got. I don't get what's so great about these big, fancy resorts. Exactly. I mean, they're all the same. At least our inns reflect the flavor of this town. I've decided to sell the place. Edgestone Resorts is buying Eddie's pub. They could run my family out of business. Mine too. If one of us is going to close, it will not be the Mason Inn. Guess we'll find out who's closes first. What if we could get them to join forces against Edgestone? Let's do it. Cheers. <sighs> ah! 
<laughs> I'd say we make a pretty great team. <laughs> at Hypsilanti State Hospital, summer of 1959. I'd left teaching to begin an ambitious study of delusional patients. I would really like to help you, Joseph. Please address me as my proper name, Jesus Christ, the righteous one am I. I have three patients who believe they're Jesus Christ. There can be but only one son of God. Uh, that's my point. Address me by my righteous name. God to you. I want to put the three of them in a room and study their behavior. What do you think will happen? I don't have a clue. The reason I'm having these meetings is there can only be one Jesus. Only one God. One God, two re-rise hicks. I'm shaking off all of your negativity and all of your squelches, all of your squelching. We do not have false hollowed out gods in Great Britain. Did our father send a boy to do a man's job? <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off! Alan, please be careful. Is it possible to really understand someone else's delusion? There are limits you can't exceed. It's brave and important what you're doing. You decide if the gains outweigh the obvious risks. Gentlemen, I want one of you to lead each of the meetings. I think we should have a vote. I nominate Joseph. Draw him. Unanimous. Why do you want to work with paranoid schizophrenics? Because they're so lonely. By the grace of Jesus Christ, you are saved. Companionship, joy, hope. Will I be able to offer these men a means to find themselves? What's your secret? Your skin looks so flawless. You know what they say, black don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> it's finally happening. Take me. It's my time. He robbing the lobster. He robbing the rich and give to the white, my brother. Rise and shine, homie. It's Ice Cube Day. Because she never had a chance to dance on the table as freely as you can until the late 1930s. Blacks weren't even allowed in the same clubs as whites. Mary Poppins, find the fun, sing a tune, get some sugar and a spoon. It's called resting creep face. Resting creep face. This woman is making it clap on the wing of this 747. I'm so very sorry for the death of your poodle. He's quite alive. Oh, then what is your wig comprised of? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we in a library because she just got red. Oh. <laughs>